So what we're looking at here is the Avondale to Harahan 230 KV River Crossing Rebuild Project. These towers are uh, Valmont Pyramax steel tubular towers. They are 475 feet tall and rated for 175 mile per hour wind loads. We had to work with the Corps of Engineers and a multitude of other government agencies to work through the permitting. Um, with our foundations being as deep as they were, we wanted to ensure that it wasn't gonna cause any kind of damage to the levees or compromise any flood protection. And then from there, we broke ground in January of 2022. The pilings and the foundations are one of the most impressive parts of this project. It's easy to focus on the nice shiny towers, but below us, we've got 65 foot concrete piles driven at a battered angle. There are 120 piles driven for each of these towers. And the timeline for those actually took substantially longer to build than the towers themselves. You know, typically a project of this scale and magnitude, we have, you know, years typically to plan this out, fully scope it. We had to take a very agile approach to how we were gonna build this and just trying to, you know, keep our crews safe and also motivated while dealing with mother nature and those delays that we encountered was a very significant challenge. We essentially went from development to energization in less than a year, which is completely uncommon, but also it's kind of a reflection of our new resiliency standards we're looking at right now. I'm a customer of Entergy also. I like to have, you know, this resiliency that we have right now at these towers. And we're gonna be taking these lessons learned that we've implemented here and looking at other critical infrastructure we have and seeing you know, where we can implement similar measures and hopefully better ones in the future as well. It's really gonna be the building block for what we look at going forward as we're looking at storm hardening.